Hey YouTube, it's Cooper here, and I've got my friend Zach here. Hey YouTubes. Uh, <clears throat> I got some stuff from him, and I posted it in my past videos. So, we went to a bunch of Goodwills today, and some others did a Craigslist purchase. We got a bunch of stuff here to show. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start with showing what I got at the first Goodwill. Um, it's a PS2 game. It's Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Here's the price tag, if you can see that. Eight bucks. It's complete, and the disc is in pretty good condition. <clears throat> and then, went to Salvation Army, and I found this uh, gray Nintendo 64 controller. The joystick is a little bit loose, but it's not bad. <clears throat> and then, I found this see-through uh, greenish-blue PS1 controller. Uh, this was two dollars, and this was four dollars, or five dollars. <clears throat> and then, uh, Oh, also at Salvation Army, I got this Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy Color. This was $1.99, and it came with the case. I also got another uh, a Game Boy game for $1.99, and I traded it to him for this NES controller. It's, uh, it's the Pokemon trading card game. Tilted. But uh, it's, it's a bootleg. Like the top, it says Sam. Can't really say or see it. Um, I don't know. I think it was a fair trade. All right. So next, uh, I made a Craigslist purchase, <clears throat> and originally it was just for it was for a Game Boy Color with a little stack of games. And I asked the guy if he had any more stuff, and he said he had a PS One, the slimmer model with a few games. So I got everything for twenty bucks. So first, we have the lime green Game Boy Color. It's in pretty good condition, and it's got the battery cover. And he threw in a pair of brand new batteries. And then it came with this little zip-up carrying case. And then the games are Game & Watch Gallery 2, 007, The World Is Not Enough, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Pokemon Gold version, it's missing the front label. Uh, Harvest Moon 3. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Duel Stories. So that whole bundle for the Game Boy stuff was 10 bucks, And then I got him to throw in the, all the PS1 stuff and one PS2 game for another 10 bucks. The PS2 game is The Herbs, Sims in the City. It's complete, and the game is a bit scratched. <clears throat> and then, here's the PS1. It's, the little, it's a slimmer model. And it came with the cords, and one gray controller. And then the games I got are... War Games, DEF CON 1. These are all complete. <clears throat> Sim Theme Park. Army Men, World War, Land, Sea, Air. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Grand Theft Auto 2, Collector's Edition. And Grand Theft Auto, Mission Pack 1, London, Collector's Edition. So all these PS1 games are complete, but aside from one of the Grand Theft Auto games, the rest are pretty scratched. But he said they all worked, so <clears throat> we'll test those out later. And then I also got this, I uh, actually bought a little bundle of stuff from him. Um, I got this PS1 game, NCAA Final Four 2000. It's complete in good condition. I got this Ultimate Codebook. And I don't know if you can see, uh, I have another, I have this exact same one, but now I have two copies. <clears throat> and then I got this little DS case that holds three DS games. I got one for Game Boy Advance, and I got another one of these little DS cases that holds six games and a stylus, and then <clears throat> I got Link's crossbow training for the Wii, complete. Of course it doesn't have the crossbow though. And then I got, I got Sonic the Hedgehog 1, not for resale, and then 
That's too bad. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And then it came complete. We've got the little poster thing, the manual, and the case. And then I also got um, a Jurassic Park Genesis case insert. And then this Nintendo DS box with the manual. No game, but got that. <coughs> um, anything else? I think that's it. Uh, we stopped by Fred Meyer's, and yeah. um, in the electronics section, they had like these free little, kind of like little pamphlet things. Um, one of them is this Nintendo DS uh, 2010 Summer Booklet, and then uh, Dragon Quest IX, little kind of, kind of like little booklet thing. But they're free, so we grabbed. Just grab a couple. A bunch. Just a few. For the collection. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's all for me. So, I don't really have game stuff, but today I got a little potato shooter. It was a dollar at Fred Meyer. Thought it was kind of cool. It says Spud Shot on it. Yeah. And then I sold some stuff to Cooper, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a five note and a dollar. <laughs> right on. Is that it? Yep. That's yeah. pretty much it. So that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. Bye, YouTubes.